In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at some more examples of writing paragraph proofs. Now, in our last lesson, our proofs mainly involved just proving that a pair of triangles was similar. Um, in this lesson, we're going to go a little bit beyond that and show that either a pair of sides is proportional um, in similar triangles, or that perhaps a pair of angles is congruent in a pair of similar triangles. So let's just start by reviewing what we would know if we could establish that two triangles were similar. So let's suppose we knew that triangle ABC was similar to triangle DEF, and we would know that the corresponding angles are congruent. That's one property that similar triangles have. Their corresponding angles are congruent. So based on this similarity statement for triangle ABC and DEF, we would know that angle A would be congruent to angle D. Angle B would be congruent to angle E. And angle C would be congruent to angle F. Now similar triangles also have the property that their corresponding sides are proportional. Their corresponding sides are not congruent. So again, they're not the, exactly the same size. But their corresponding sides are in proportion. Their corresponding sides are proportional. So we're going to write a proportion that relates all three pairs of corresponding sides for this uh, pair of triangles here. So I'm going to make three ratios set up here that would all be proportional. So let's see, the ratio of AB to DE would be proportional to the ratio of BC to EF. And that would also be proportional to AC to DF. It's the outer two letters in each name. So again, if we can establish that two triangles are similar, um, we could make conclusions like this in addition to just saying the triangles are similar. And that's what our proofs are going to look like today. In our first example here, we're given that AH is parallel to KL. And we're asked to prove this proportion that would say AT to KT is proportional to AH to KL. Now to prove a proportion like this, we're going to have to find a pair of similar triangles in this diagram. So we would need similar triangles. So let's take this given information and see if we can find a pair of similar triangles in this diagram. So we know AH is parallel to KL. And if those two line segments are parallel, we could find a pair of congruent corresponding angles, actually two different pairs of congruent corresponding angles for those parallel lines. Angle TAH here is congruent to angle TKL down here. And angle THA over here is congruent to angle TLK down here. Both of those pairs of angles would be um, corresponding angles for those two parallel lines and they must be congruent when lines are parallel. So using those two pairs of congruent angles, we actually have a pair of similar triangles in this diagram. And triangle ATH here must be similar to the larger triangle KTL here by angle angle. Now it's sometimes useful to draw these two similar triangles separately when they're either overlapping or embedded like this diagram. So I'm gonna take a second to draw the two similar triangles separately. So with these two triangles drawn separately, we can see how this proportion would match up um, some of their corresponding proportional sides. Um, side AT here would correspond to side KT here, and side AH in this triangle would correspond to side KL in the larger one. So it's always a good habit to outline our proofs before we start writing, so I'm going to do that here as well. So we're going to start by establishing the two triangles are similar using angle-angle similarity. Um, we'll use the two pairs of congruent corresponding angles. But another option would be to use that angle T must be congruent to angle T by the reflexive property. Um, but in terms of writing the proof, it's going to be easy enough to just use those two congruent corresponding angle pairs. So we'll say angle TAH will be congruent to angle TKL and angle THA would be congruent to angle TLK. And then once we've said that, we could say the triangle TAH would be similar to triangle um, TKL by angle-angle similarity. And then we could say why that proportion is true after that. 
All right, so let's start writing our proof. So the proof will begin the way it always would, by just restating what we're given. So we'll say we are given that AH is parallel to KL. And then from that pair of parallel segments, um, we get those two pairs of congruent corresponding angles. So that'll be what we mentioned next. We'll say as a result. angle TAH was congruent to angle TKL and angle THA was congruent to angle TLK because corresponding angles are congruent when lines are parallel. Okay, great. So our next step in the proof will be to mention the two similar triangles. So we'll say next, triangle TAH must be similar to triangle TKL by angle-angle similarity. And then once we've shown that those two triangles are similar, we would know their corresponding sides must be proportional, um, so we could wrap up our proof. So we'll say thus, that proportion AT to KT would equal AH over KL. And a good reason here would be to say because the corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. and we'll use a little ended proof symbol to indicate we're done with the proof. So really not much more to this proof than the ones we were writing last class. Um, just that extra sentence that mentioned the proportion. So again, really not much to this. Just make sure you establish similar triangles uh, before you prove that proportion. For our next example, we're given a diagram where there are side measurements labeled in each triangle, and we're asked to prove that angle A is congruent to angle D. So again, to prove a pair of angles is congruent in these triangles, we're going to have to establish that the triangles are similar first. So just like the last proof, we need similar triangles to get this to work. So if we notice that all three pairs of sides are labeled, uh, it may be possible to prove that these triangles are similar using side-side-side similarity. So let's match up the sides between each triangle. So let's see, the largest side of triangle ABC would have to match up with the largest side of triangle DEF. And the smallest side would have to match up with the smallest side over here. And the medium side length would have to correspond with the medium side length over here as well. So just like we would for a side angle side or side 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 similarity proof, we're going to do some scratch work first um, to see if these three pairs of sides are in proportion. So we'll make a ratio of each corresponding side pair um, and see if it's all the same. So we have 34 to 17, which would reduce to 2 to 1. Then we have 16 to 8, which also reduces to 2 to 1. And we have 30 to 15, which also reduces to 2 to 1. Um, so with that, we would know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by side-side-side similarity is again, all three pairs of sides um, and these two triangles are proportional. And then once we know the triangles are similar, we would then say that angle A is congruent to angle D uh, because their corresponding angles must be congruent. Okay, so this will be a pretty quick proof. So we're going to start by saying, um, based on the measurements in the diagram, we have that all three pairs of corresponding sides are proportional. So we're just going to have to say that in symbols like our proofs from last class. 
So we're going to say that AB to DE, so that's that 16 to 8 ratio, that's equal to AC to DF, it's the 34 to 17 ratio, and that's also equal to BC to EF, that was that 30 to 15 ratio, and then all of these have a value of 2 to 1, all those ratios reduced down to 2 to 1. Now with that we could say the triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by side 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 similarity and then once we know those triangles are similar we could easily say that angle A must be congruent to angle D so we'll end with thus angle A is congruent to angle D because the corresponding angles of similar triangles are congruent So again, not much to this. Just make sure you establish similar triangles first before you prove that pair of angles is congruent. To end this lesson, here's a practice proof for you to try. You're given that AB is parallel to DE, and then asked to prove that AC to EC is proportional to BC to DC. So again, keep in mind that to prove a proportion like that, you would have to show that a pair of triangles is similar first. 